Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. I'm fishing a different ferry landing today. I hope. Don't have a lot of time, maybe. We're under 40% chance. It was less than that when I left the house. It was uh, less than 20%. Things have changed since I was riding over this way to this different ferry landing. I'm actually not on the West Bank right now. So when I got up this morning at just before 4 a.m., it was pouring. It was pounding down rain. And it stopped eventually, but it's supposed to come back maybe in a couple hours, a little bit, and then later on this afternoon, really, really heavy. So on paper, it looks like a rain day, but we have a bit of a window of opportunity. There is some activity here right now. Hey, yeah, you're right, guys. Let's see what we can catch here. I've never actually fished this ferry landing. I cruise by it a lot, going to other spots. Let's see what it's like. I'm going to start with a sabiki rig. I don't know where snags are. I'm sure there are snags here. Just like any, most ferry landings in this area have a lot of junk in them. There we go. Wow. Look at this. Is that a, f I had more than two. There was a ton of white bass came up for that. Pretty awesome when that's your first cast, huh? Oh, I don't know about the second cast though. Here's the third cast. What's that gonna do? You guys see how dirty the river looks right now? It's been a lot of rain just north of here. Oh, here we go. They're right. That's three. When it's raining heavily down here, it doesn't really muck up the river that much because there's not too many things down here that drain into the river. Not very many at all. Going north of here, north of, oh, sorry, north of Baton Rouge, there are feeder creeks and it has been raining a lot even further north up in the northern basin of the river. So yeah, all that dirty water's getting here. Just underneath this access ramp, there is a current seam that's kind of swirling around. And I think that's an area where they're at. The, the fourth cast is coming up empty. Overall, the forecast for the day is still well over 50%. It, it's been at 100, it's been at 80, 70. It's just up and down. Every 15 minutes, it seems to change. The sun was out when I got on the ferry to come over here, but it is not out now, which even, even though it makes it look like it's about to rain, having no sun right now is going to increase the time of the bite. It's gonna make it go a little further into the morning because we are getting a late start. Was, that was a lot of words just to basically say that I got here after 7.30. There we go, right off the rocks. Well, this is the total white bass hangout this morning, huh? There we go. We found a snag. It's because I let it sink too far, too fast. Look at this. That is one of those wires that holds reventment together. I see one of them in the water right here. So, yeah, I'm coming up here to where the river actually comes in behind the ferry barge. That current out there is very swift. Might be deeper over here. It's pretty swift on the other side, but it has less water over here between the ferry landing and the bank than the other, the other side, the west bank ferry landing over there. This is much more narrower. Could be a deeper cut. Over on the other side, the swift current is really, really tight to the barge and far from where the water line is. And it's a, a lot different over here. Over here at the down river side, it's a little bit of a different story. 
you're a little further back from the ferry itself or you know the ferry barge maybe there are rocks I can't see that are under the water there is definitely an alligator over here that I can see well, this alligator might become an annoying pest he's swimming towards the area of where my sabiki is coming through oh been here for just over 30 minutes now and i've already destroyed my first sabiki here i've got just two hooks left i'm going to go ahead and call that destroyed down to the lead didn't lose that though so here's what i figured out so far right here where the rocks go to the water right off the rocks it's anywhere from eight to ten feet deep right off the rocks and gets deeper as you go out towards the structure those orange pylons out there and i think what i'm snagging is what i showed you earlier in the video the wire for the revitment maybe other things as well but it feels like i'm hitting wire anywhere i let the sabiki go towards the bottom or hit the bottom i snagged over there and over here and i also have figured out that on this side the upriver side of this ferry landing is where you can get into the deepest water if you go to the other side where the water level is pushed further back there's a lot of shallow water between you and where it's deep which is pretty much running along parallel like you see where the rocks are if you look this way it's pretty much the same thing and as you bring a sabiki in you're going to snag where wherever that transitional line is which is probably covered in revetment and i think there's revetment all through here we're going to fish this a little longer but with different things first off is the silver spoon might be too small for this current but we will try it this is a weedless spoon i don't want to snag it though it's the only one i have with me so I'm just going to let it fall for a little bit and then pick it back up. Oh, I picked it up too much there. Pulled it out. Pick it, pick it up, let it fall again. Uh, try not to let it go to the bottom. I don't want it to wrap around any of that wire. Yes, got something on that silver spoon. Finally. Ho ho, are you the monster of this landing? Hopefully not, but you are the biggest one yet. I'm fishing this kind of fast. I just don't want it to go down to the bottom. I'm trying to focus on a certain area and it's kind of an imaginary area i'm trying to imagine right now where the transitional point is and once i get past it which is probably about now i'll work it even faster so because of the shallow and the fact that if you look over here around that alligator you see a loop coming out of the water there it's probably wire all over the place it's more likely to snag that wire when you're bringing that through a shallow area Oh, man, right over by that baby alligator, a bunch of fish just broke the water. Oh, yeah. I think that might be where this transitions from shallow to deeper, right where that alligator is, right where those fish popped up out of the water. I think that was white bass making the bait pop out. If you watch... I don't know if you can see on the video, but I can see it. There is just the slightest of current seam right in the area where the alligator is. And you can follow that seam. And that could be a good indicator of where that transition point is on the bottom. Oh, there we go. Another one for the spoon. 
This one's fighting really good. What did we get here, huh? Oh, yes. Look at that. That is the monster of the landing this morning. We got a channel cat on the spoon. That is awesome. Really awesome. <laughs> I've caught channel cat on different lures before, but this is the first time for a Johnson silver spoon. I was bouncing that spoon off the transition line. I think it's the line like where it goes from shallow to deep on that side over there. Had a few hits, kept doing it. And then I got this guy, nice. All right guys, just wanted to check this ferry landing out real quick because I had the opportunity to do it, but the rain is about to come back again. So I need to get to the other side of the river because <laughs> I don't want to be stuck over here in the rain. Yeah, you're right, guys. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I will see you next time.